Good afternoon, everybody. It was a crazy day because woke up late. I haven't, ex I never ended up explaining, but my work is utterly chaos right now. And Sarah woke up late and not feeling good. She got a bit of a migraine today. So we're not going out, but it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna make the best of it at home. I'm running two quick errands now that I'm done kind of working for the day. Gotta stop by the car to pick up a key I left in there so that I have to get a copy made before the hardware store closes in five, at five. And then off to the Jewel, pick up some treats and some St. Patrick's Day festivities for the day. Yes, I am in fact here to buy all of the Irish soda bread. All right, Jewel outdid me. There's no way I'm gonna buy out all of this Irish soda bread, but look at all of this deliciousness. Yes. One day I'm gonna come in here and just drop stacks and buy all of their Irish soda bread out on St. Patrick's Day. Um, yes, in fact, we are doing this. Gotta have all the Green River. Note to self, when Peter is off work and it's St. Patty's Day and he lives in Chicago again and he goes to run a quick errand to go grab some keys to be copied, do not let him, because he ends up with this. Okay, so we got five, five Green Rivers, pack of St. Patrick's Day cookies, three Irish sherbets, a four pack of Guinness. Okay, wait. Got a pound of tater babies and a pound of chicken with tenders. Oh! This is my tater baby. Look at his cute Ireland onesie. We got from ranch, one of you. Ken's Ranch, Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce. Wow. All right, just to say we're not complete heathens. Dardine comes out with soups now. Wow. We got a minestrone and sausage and a sausage gumbo. Well, as because I know you were, you were like iffy. Last but not least, Campbell's chunky savory vegetable. Thank you. Let the festivities begin. Quiet man. I'm covering myself because I look a fright, but I have such a bad headache. I did take some medicine, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, Two in one week? This one was worse. This is like the worst. It's it's a migraine. I haven't had a migraine like this. I think since our first embryo transfer. Remember that? That was so bad. Um, yeah. But hopefully this, this food will make me feel better. This is for Sarah. Oh my word. The elixir of her kin. Hopefully it'll help my headache. Oh, it will. Irish don't get headaches when they're working the fields for the potatoes. Look at that. I got the cans of Guinness that come with the nitrogen. Look at that. Look at that nitrogen fizzling through like it's an actual Guinness from a, a, a bar. Rosen crown itself. Yes. Watching Quiet Man, classic. St. Patrick's Day movie, and then after this, I think we should watch the... Uh, <laughs> I think we should watch the Dublin episode of... Somebody feed Phil. <gasps> Great idea. Are you enjoying your first St. Patrick's Day? Are you? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Give me Irish soda bread. Tater babies if you're not from... Excuse me, James, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Jewel Asco is like, if you know Orlando, it's the Publix of the mid of the Midwest of Chicago. Look at my state. She looks like an Irish person who woke up the day after St. Patrick's Day from <laughs> celebrating. Um, but these are potato wedges, but they are far from an actual potato wedge. These are the most glorious thing. Eve. 
They're literally called potato babies at Jewel. Tater babies. Tater babies. <laughs> and we cheers this St. Patrick's Day yes. to our first tater babies as Chicago residents again. Wow. Even though I freaked out the girl checking me out because she needs to see my ID. She was checking you out? Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't find my ID or my age. My, my birthday. <laughs> I'm a Florida. On my Florida ID. And chicken tenders. Oh, this isn't the best way to spend St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I just don't know what is. <laughs> Look at these two sweetie pies. We're just hanging out. Right? Oh. Right? Playing with your toys? <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know Quiet Man is the longest movie ever, it is, but it's amazing. And we're also celebrating St. Patrick's Day by putting up more stuff on our walls. Here we have it. So this is above a little, the bigger wall that has no mirror or window in uh, the sunroom area, but we have... What? I know, I, I, I wanted you to see it. It's like for some like, for some spunk flare. Um, but apparently that's not spunk flare to a designer, so I have to fix that. It's just, it's not nailed in all the way, but we have our sweet pea stitch by our friend Jenna. We have our watercolor of our first embryo that we transferred, and then our two towers Tolkien quote. Some hope over where babies will play. Yeah, right where James and the rest of our babies are going to play, with all the books and the tent and everything that are a little homage to all of our babies and our journeys. You love Goofy? Yes. This little baby is grabbing at everything. Watch. There you go. Take it. Good job. So big. Next up, we're watching the Dublin episode of Somebody Feed Phil. You off the collusion. Mess with your mind. Did you hear that noise? This boils my skin alive every morning when I get ready. So these bad boys uh, used to be above Sarah's desk. We never actually got actual plans from them, but we're gonna put some philodendron in both of these. And I'm gonna train one. I think I'm gonna train this one to, to grow into this one. Maybe this one I'll train to grow onto here. Eventually getting over there, that'd be cool. Love it. It's my little helper. Thanks, Evie. Mr. Jamesy Boy has had a costume change. He also has the hiccups. He has this cute little Shirt on from grandma. It says, lucky to have you. Oh, we're lucky to have him. Um, we're gonna show you some of the stuff that dad hung up, right? First off, we have the mirror and those two pictures above the couch. We don't know if anything else is gonna go on this wall until we have the billy up and also what's going up above the TV. We don't want it to be too busy, but we like this on its own, if, it, if that is the case. We're starting to use the hall tree. I just ordered a little planter for it. And then here we have our new little apron. I got it at Ikea yesterday. This is actually an old gem. This used to be at Peter's desk at work. It's a cutting board with all the Chicago neighborhoods. Oh, yeah, and then herb garden and vegetable garden. They're a little smudgy. I gotta wipe them down. And I got this up. Look, that's, that's one try. That looks pretty yeah. easy right? for, for a double nailed. Yeah, our little seasonal calendar. And I think we're done for the night. Yeah, I have to do like 15, 20 more minutes worth of work, but we're going to sit down. That means an hour. No, this is really just like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and then we're going to watch Yes, I Love You. Yeah, another little and trip to like Ireland vines. Yeah. 
I put our plants on the desk for now because the little tray they used to be on, I think we're gonna use that in our bathroom closet. And then this is where this table and chairs will live when we're not using them outside. Hopefully soon. Hello everybody, it is later than we planned on being awake. Yeah. We did so much, like, I always tell Sarah, Sarah's like, I can't wait until we're just like settled. And I was like, my issue was like, to me, I don't consider settled until everything is done being hung. Mm -hmm. Which is annoying because that being my bar for being <laughs> settled means that like we won't be settled for weeks. Because like we have plans for new photo refreshes for certain frames. Mm -hmm. We have to get things framed. We have to... Our darn bookcase needs to be in stock, which I'm scouring reselling for. Uh, but I feel... But we make good strides today. Yeah, I do feel great that like we've got things hung up there. We've, we hung like 10 things today. So I feel really good about I that. I feel like we're like a quarter done. Yeah. I think we hit, tackle the hallway gallery style thing next. And that'll be huge. Huge. We also could not go without talking about what happened in Atlanta yeah. in, in our video today. It's been heavy on our hearts. Um, if you are unaware, eight Asian women were murdered. Um, another senseless act blood. of um, terrorism, domestic terrorism by a white man in our country. And so it's just unacceptable. And I think... I think... By like, what is what is the word? Normalizing, calling coronavirus the China virus, and other rhetoric that's just been okay in our country has led to this, like, been a, a, a very big influencing factor. Right, and um, this isn't this isn't the first crime against Asian Americans that has happened. It's one of hundreds, if not. I think it's over. I think it was like I read somewhere that there's been like two thousand. Um, hateful crimes. And that's just like the ones that are being brought forward exactly. to the police. So I always am like, well, what can I do? And I saw something that was like, talk to your family, like even on the smallest of levels of different things that you might do that perpetuates it being normalized. Even if, um, you're not a hateful person, we all have, um, you know, underlining ways and underlying things that have been like okay in our lives. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so we can correct ourselves and hold others accountable. Hopefully and I think also like try to lead an empathetic and graceful life, like give yourself grace, but give like everyone else grace first. Like right. there's a lot of, a lot of evil in the world. Right. So. And even though we, Sorry, I'm sorry that the baby's waking up. Um, even though you don't consider yourself a racist person, it is rooted in our, you know, in our country, especially within white people, and it's just something that you need to. The more it's talked about, right. the more it will be addressed, right. even on the smallest scale. And it look, has an effect. And look internally to to see to see how you, what you might be even doing. Yeah. So I think uh, we found a good list of like resources and things that Sarah's going to put info down below. Um, but we're going to sign off here. We do have two messages we're going to read. Mm -hmm. But we're going to sign off here because we're going to get him into the bassinet, hopefully still asleep. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Okay, two daily messages today because we forgot to last night. For yesterday, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw. And today, the 17th, I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Thomas Jefferson. We know this St. Patrick's Day hasn't looked like it has in the past, um, but it was a really great day at home. And we just want to thank you guys for coming along with us, loving the Chicago vlogs, but also sticking with us while we get the apartment together and really get into our, our new groove here. And again, it is good to be home.
know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>